Yeah. One of the most fascinating things about partnerships is that people come into these things thinking they know all about what's going on in their region. The problem is well-intentioned, but they really don't. A classic illustration was a partnership we were working on in a unreached people group. It was a tribal group. There was a major trade language. 13 or 14 ministries had been identified. They came into the room and the first thing we did was had everyone go through and tell us what they did. It took a long time to do that, half hour each one. And about the second or third ministry pulled out this little booklet which they had done. Proudly said, well, we translated this from the trade language and we have put it into the tribal language. We're really pleased it's now available for evangelistic purposes. It was a kind of evangelistic booklet that was very well known in the trade language. Well, a couple of ministries later, maybe the fourth or fifth ministry came up and rather sheepishly said, you know, we're a bit embarrassed here, but the truth is we actually did the very same famous trade language evangelistic booklet. We translated it into the tribal language and here's our version of that. About two ministries later, a third translation appeared of the very same booklet. Well, by this time, of course, people sitting around the room were laughing and people were beginning to say, it's pretty obvious why we're here in the room. We would need to be talking to each other. Before the day was over, we actually found five different ministries had actually done separate translations of the very same booklet. And the truth was, the majority of these booklets were sitting on the shelves not being used. Now, as a result of this, one of the very first things that this group did, after they acknowledged they needed to be working together, was to form a communications coordination working group. God helps his people once they start talking to each other.